Hello everybody, I am Chuggers, and this is, uh, I guess my new channel, Chuggers Sim, where I am going to be playing, uh, different kinds of, I don't know, simulation games, you got like SimCity, Transport Tycoon, uh, Anno 2070, simulation games, building games, basically, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do some sort of, like, review, playthrough of the, uh, newly alpha released, Starforge uh, update 3. Point, or 0.3.5b um, I've been wanting to get this game for a while and I, I got it on Steam and I gotta say uh, it's not as much as I hope but that's because the way they're doing patches is kinda weird or uh, the way they released it on Steam was weird cause they had a bunch of stuff already implemented in the game but they chose to have the least buggy version put on Steam, which didn't really include a lot of the stuff they have in the game. But since I didn't buy it on their website, I'm not available to like use the previous versions. Or, to my knowledge, I can't. So, I guess that's the first point in this review. And uh, here's another one. Kind of loads. Kind of takes a while to load. Um, especially for, like, a map that is the same for everyone. Uh, that's that's another problem with this. Like the uh, other versions had mining, uh, a lot more extensive crafting, infinite maps, like randomly generated infinite maps. But the uh, one they put on Steam is a finite map. It's pretty small. There's only like, a few trees to chop down. The just everything about it's kind of a uh, died down a little, or not died. What is it held back? I guess they could have at least given an option to. Uh, to update, uh, I'm still loading, and uh, uh, when am I gonna be done loading? I wonder. Uh, I'll come back to you when I'm done loading. Okay, I'm back. I'm done loading. It took about 10 seconds. Uh, you're faced with two options: multiplayer, which uh, you know, you just give them an IP or make your own, and single player. I'll be doing the single player because the multiplayer is a bit dodgy right now. I'd have to go find someone who's recently put up a server. Uh, now you're faced with two more options, Fort Defense or Creative. Fort Defense, you're spawned in a desert. You must make a fort against, well, fighting against these little worm, red worm guys with, I don't know, the weird guys. They blow up your stuff. You gotta protect your central red thing with, like, feet, like dead fetus people inside. It's the scariest thing. Cause I never, I thought they were just like little black outlines until you stick your head inside like the little red glass. Uh, they're pretty scary, and I'll show you that. We're gonna start in creative. It's more basic. As you can see, your drop down, pretty beautiful. Uh, this is on like half graphics, a little over half. I'd set it up the highest, but I want to get like higher frame rates. And here's what I'm talking about. Oh, you can't stick your head in there. You can in a uh, fort defense with a chainsaw. I'll show you guys that when I get there. Uh, so this is the creative mode. You can see it's a pretty alright landscape. Um, I'll climb over to the mountain. I'll get a good. I'll get a good view. Uh, I'll talk more about it. And uh, you know, I'll be right back when I'm there. Well, I'm almost on top of one of these mountains, and uh, hopefully you can hear me enough because I really only checked the menu sound. But as you can see, like the the walking system is pretty alright. Um, it's completely physics based from what I understand. Here's why I can like just jump up this thing. And what I mean by completely physics based, there's really, there's no walking animation. It's the fact that your feet are pumping up against the ground that's keeping you up. Um, now, as I say, sure, I'm not really sure exactly if this is how they did it. This is how they did it in the previous patches. But, if it's still in here, you know, it's it might be in here. Uh, but it allows for more parkour things. You used to be able to like, just run straight up walls, which uh, was kind of glitchy. But uh, here is the landscape. The side of the map is there. There's really no wall. There's uh, like these little... He's breathing. That's not me. I'm not breathing. This guy needs to lose some weight. There's uh, these little circle crater things. I don't know what the He's still breathing. Okay, I guess shooting made him stop. Um... He's still breathing. 
All right, so you got this map. It's about from maybe beyond those mountains just to right be. I, I guess like there's one corner, there's a corner, there's a corner, and there's a corner. So you got a pretty uh, you got an all right big space. If I had to guess, maybe like a mile by a mile, maybe two miles. Uh, but there's really not enough resources to build all over it. Um, right here. I don't know, probably me. Um, here's the guy. The screams are a little much. Um, here's another cool thing, you see. There's a bit of recoil, like, on your body. So you can just fly up. Out. And, uh, press R. Back at spawn. Pretty loud, too. Um, got all these views. You got, like, a cinematic view. This is pretty cool. Uh, you got a self view. You got first person, third person. Um, you can shoot that open, too. And it makes like a big mist. It's pretty cool if you want to make like a sauna or something. I don't know. Uh, but now onto the crafting. Uh, let's go. Tab is open your inventory. See your stats. I'm not sure if you can actually level up yet. I'm not sure how I have this much experience or that I'm level 12. I'm not really sure how that happens. You spawn like that. But here you are. The crafting screen. You can craft a dual barrel rifle, which is the gun I have now. You spawn with that. You can make laser turrets, rocket turret, searchlight. Which makes light. These two are defense. This, the, I'll explain these further in a fort defense. Uh, you scroll, you click and drag to move up. Got this slammer. What it does, it's like a huge pillar that spins, and when you hit it, you go flying. It's pretty crazy. This is the same thing, but it's like in an L shape to scoop up objects better. This w and there's uh, three of these. They all go for like different axe eye axes. I don't know. And then here's the blocks. There's concrete slabs. Uh, these are made of wood. This one's made of metal, stone, two more wood. These are like more uh, aesthetics based. All these, a lot of these actually do something. Like this one, it'll hurt you if you step on it because there's like barbed wire and nails sticking out of it. I haven't tried concrete slabs yet because I don't have any stone in creative mode. That's another problem. You can't dig, so you can't get stone. I mean, they give you some materials, like these logs and the trees, but the metal. Oh yeah, metal and oil, but there's no rocks. I mean, you could you could dig, but you can't dig. Um, tutorial: shoot on trees. This. Okay. Yeah. It didn't even fall. I'm gonna try to not talk over the shooting. I'm gonna try not to talk over when I'm shooting, cause I'm not really sure of the volume of this. But that is how you collect wood. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. You uh, shoot down the tree, and then sh you shoot the tree down, and then you shoot the sh tree to get these logs. Go up to him with a weapon, press E, or uh, go to this, or go like, yeah. You can do the same thing by going to uh, an inventory thing with no blocks in it, going up to, or uh, pressing E, and then going up and left clicking it. Now you're in resource collection mode. So you can just uh, go and I'll collect this one like this um okay now uh onto the building i guess when you spawn you spawn with 200 sturdy lumber tile sets i like to build with a wooden mansion tile sets uh go ahead and make oh, i can't make 50 of them i don't have enough resources near me that's how uh see you craft things you don't carry things around in your inventory you this these things on the ground when they're near you are your inventory basically kind of weird but you know uh, to navigate around your inventory, you switch Q. So, yeah, you press Q to switch from weapons to blocks, and use your number keys uh, to switch through your inventory. There's nine slots, and I never really ever get up to five slots. To build, right-click places a block, and left-click will make blocks on the same plane as the side of the block that you are clicking on. Now. Uh, you can't really get many complex buildings in creative mode since like the limited materials and everything. In fort defense, uh, stone and oil kind of drops out of the air. You get you get stone and oil and metal and 
Wood constantly through the rounds in fort defense, which is, I mean, I don't know why you don't hear, I don't know why there's no way to spawn, it is creative mode, uh, it's another minus about the game, it's one of the, it's, I guess it's like a tiny minus, overall I really like this game, I trust that it will be good at release, uh, I just want them to get everything straightened out, uh, let's see, yeah, well that's all the wood I had, but that's pretty much it for this part, for this game mode. Uh, I'm going to move on to Fort Defense, and I'll be right back, and, yeah. Alright, we are back in the choosing mode screen. I turned on the side a bit because Fort Defense requires a lot more guns, includes a lot more guns, I mean. Uh, and guns are pretty loud in this game. So, you spawn in, you see you're in a desert. It's a finite map, as far as I can tell. I never really walk over there, because if you, I don't know, you got to protect your base here from the little alien guys. You spawn in, you're in a desert, you got the same resources, except you see things in the distance falling. Um, when you start, you got, I think, like, three or four weapon cases. You just open these by pressing E. Collect the gun by pressing E. Now, all the guns, from what I understand, are randomly generated. So you can get some pretty crazy things. Hopefully I get a few. I mean, right here you got the, uh... You got the crappy old gun. Crappy old gun. And the basic gun. These two are kind of crappy. On the scale of, like, how good they can get. These are, like, the worst. The chainsaw. The best gun. Overall. It's like a one-shot kill on everything. Uh, they need to fix that. And here's what I'm talking about. With, uh, these scary things. Uh, look at him. They're like human, like giant human feet is just missing eyes, and it's horrifying. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and build a base here, though, because I don't want to die. So what I'm gonna do. Actually, a good thing to do is to run out here, get all these resources around here, because you're gonna want to build a few turrets. They help for the few rounds if you're gonna be preoccupied building. Uh, you can pick these up by pressing E. That's basically the pick up button is E. Uh, when you shoot down trees too, you can pick up the logs before. You can, instead of making them into stuff, you can just pick up the logs and move them around. I mean, you can't really use them for anything because they're logs, not refined wood. That's all you can build a tree house. Like I breathe these. That's a, that's a thing. Found that out. You, if you're holding something to jump on it, you get hurt. I don't know why. Another one of the bugs in this game. And uh, if you're going to recommend building, buying this game, I really recommend buying it on the site. Because when you buy it on the site, you get like a registered account and access to all... You get access... Uh, my head itches. You get access to all the uh, before betas and you get the Steam code. So... I recommend buying it on the website, not on Steam. Much better. Unless you want to buy it on Steam. Because I'm not sure how long they're going to be passing out the Steam codes. It came out on Steam like a week and a half ago. Or something like that. But yeah, I probably should get working on building. It tells you how many resources you have to build with. Uh, I'm going to try... With four... Right now. Yeah, the rocket turrets are a little bit more expensive. And I think... I think what I'll do for the just the first round is gun them down so actually let's make let's start building our wall let's get started with a bit of the more constructive side of this game all right now what well when you start in here you get wow oh, how'd that hurt me whatever you get infinite lives until this thing i think it's called the vat that's what somebody called it once yeah but you get four minutes until they start coming and try to destroy this And what I did there was uh, deleting a block. Just press E with a block in hand, and then you just start clicking on things. Now, your base is not to be this big. I just like to go big. I made a few cool things. I made, like, a full house with rooms and everything. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, it isn't really efficient. But the first few rounds are really, really easy. 
So I mean, you got you got the time, you got easy difficulty to work with. 18 seconds. All right. Well, this is just the base. Uh, but four seconds remaining, three seconds remaining, two, one. I hate the chainsaw though, because it's so loud. Oh, uh, let's see. When the round starts, things start dropping, and I killed it. There's two that spawn in the first wave. I gotta find the other one. Oh, here he is. Alright, pretty easy. And then you get a minute between rounds from now on. So I'm gonna have to one, uh, I'm gonna wanna have to go get all this stuff around here. Gather it over here. Uh, we don't need wood. We need. All it gave me was wood. Well, bad luck, I guess. What is this? I would have a gun. See, look, this is what I'm talking about. This is where it starts getting cool. This is too many guns strapped together. Complete ear rape. Oh, they got another crappy gun. Another part of this game, recycling. You can uh, go to your little briefcase, uh, press, or click the gun, and then press the recycle button. Uh, I don't want the machine gun. Don't want the minigun. Uh, yeah, it's a little glitchy though. Uh, don't want the dual barrel rifle. Alright, did I get anything from that? Oh, yeah, here it is. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this quick though. Okay, I see. Now, the second round, you get one bigger guy. Actually, a big guy and a small guy. Oh, I guess three guys. Hmm, did they just randomly spawn? I don't, I've only played the wave mode like four times, two times. And when it starts getting intense, you got like the more intense music to go with it. Oh, come on, give me this. These guns are actually really. See, I don't know if you can actually use these scopes either. I haven't tried to use them. Well, I mean, I tried. That's why I figured out third person. Let's see would be aim. What the? Oh, I guess that's a drop. X is to drop things. I learn everything every day. What is in here? Another chainsaw. I don't need it. Actually, you know, I'll get it anyway. Now I can uh, reduce it to scrap. Each weapon uh, gives you 25 scrap, I believe. Or at least the double barrel one, like the first one you get gives you 25 scrap. Not how it, not sure how it stacks with the other ones. Okay, that's wood. This is stone. Okay. Now I might want to start getting my turrets going right now. Because I feel like I'll run out of time before anything happens. Before I actually get going. Uh, okay, I can only make two of these right now, so crafting two. Uh oh. Time to fight. So you can see they're getting harder. And this is what I'm talking about, the chainsaw. One shot. One shot killed. That's pretty overpowered, I think. And they'll break your wall to get through. So, watch out for that. Now we're going to place our turrets, missile turrets. What? Where'd it go? Hmm. Well, that one's gone, I guess. Where the hell did it go? Is it up there somewhere? I don't know. Well, it's gone. Ah, oh, 
the missile turret, everybody. He'll be here all week. Alright, so we're gonna go to the secondary, or the more basic ones. Oh, we can't. I used all the oil on those damn things that I don't even get to use now. Let's see if I can't get a good weapon out of these. Nope, I'll get it anyway. I haven't tried the missile turrets yet, so I'm not sure exactly how well they work. But I'm already out here and I have to get these. Oh, you know what? They don't work very well. That's what I'll do. Easy mode. I'm telling you. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to be a cheap guy, use a thing. That's how they're minus about this, is how horribly overpowered the thing is. Uh, we need more oil. I wonder if you can shoot it on the cactus. I haven't tried it yet. Pretty sure you can't. Okay, we got more oil. I'll... Wait, no. Okay. I'll, uh, what is it called? I'll showcase the turrets real quick. Two of them. That's not like I really need them. Because the chainsaw is all you really need. So, like, my previous bases, I put one on each corner. Uh, I made, like, a nice little barrier. But I usually just pay ten I pay way too much attention to the uh, aesthetics of the base and not actually build or not actually fighting. But I guess I'll show off uh, the other blocks real quick. Uh, let's see. Two wood. I'll craft that. Craft this. Craft that. Craft that. Craft that. And I'll craft that. And I'll craft this. And I gotta kill these guys real quick before I lose. And okay, they show these to you. Goodbye. Oh, it's dead. Look at how big this thing is. They're pretty terrifying. Let's try one more time for the weapons, because I really want to. I really want to show you guys some of them. They're pretty crazy. All right, here we go. A dual chainsaw. As if one chainsaw wasn't already overpowered. What's in here? Oh, okay. Another chainsaw. See, like, they're, they're module weapons. They're modular weapons. They're, like, stuck together. So, they're, like, random every time. I've only been getting stuck with the crappy ones. One time I had a uh, quadruple minigun. What is this? Another dual one. I just keep going off on little, little tangents trying to find these cool weapons. Uh, let's see what's in here. Another dual chainsaw. What's up with them with dual chainsaws? It's not like they don't get better every time. Because the first time I played, they got the they got triple chainsaw and a quadruple minigun. But I guess I'll show you guys the rest of these blocks. See, these are the basic ones. These are the wood ones. Like they have little intricate things in the corners too. See, you go like uh like that. You got like little pieces of wood. Let me fight these guys real quick. And I'm back. Just fought those guys. Now, back to the blocks. Yeah, see these little things? These ones have little wood boards. They look really, like, shifty. Or like, I don't know what the word is. Really shoddy. Really crappy. These ones are nice. Nice little tiled. They're called, they're like, manor aesthetic bricks or something. They have, like, little wood accents on the corners. Uh, you got the nail ones. Don't touch these. Hold on, can you... Hmm, maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe the only the time. Can you not touch these? I guess you can't touch these. Hmm. I thought you could. Um. Oopsies. Now you got the steel ones. These ones are actually pretty cool. They like some like I don't know. These guys' details. They somehow have like little red metals stuck to them. Not really that cool, I guess. These are the stone bricks. Ah, uh, they're just stone bricks. 
And finally, you have the concrete bricks. I haven't seen these yet. Oh, they're covered in moss or something? Alright. Makes sense. No, I guess I'll show you what happens when you lose. You pick these guys up by going to them with your weapons out and then pressing E. You can switch back to your weapon. I almost flipped over. Oh, okay, I got killed by my own turret. This is the dying. You can really see how like the physics based engine works. Because you think your uh your pointer is always where you're looking, like where your guy's looking. The camera's a little laggy behind. Wait, when I Oh wow, it died anyway. Well, I guess I can kill it myself. Game over. And uh, when the game's over, just press continue. Actually, I never pressed continue before. I never even noticed that option. But now you can get a better look at them. Look at these guys. These things are scary. I'm not sure if you can keep going from here. Just build. I just like the first time I found this out. I just st I stayed there and looked at him for like a good five minutes. Wow. Well, um, this is Starforge. Uh, it's it's kind of a 50-50 whether I, I would recommend it at this moment. I got it because I'd been waiting a while for it and I thought the Steam release would be a good be a good time to actually get it. But you know, it was kind of little, kind of childed down. Oh, another double chainsaw. It was a little dumbed down on the, uh, all the features. So, I mean, it left me a little disappointed. But, you know, I, I'm sure, they already have all this stuff. To, oh, yeah, here, this is a, one of the good ones. Give me the gun. Yeah, it was a little dumbed down on the features, but I've seen the, I've seen they actually have the features done. They have, like, all the production videos and versions out before it. I mean, I, I have faith that this is going to be a great game. And uh, if you buy it now, it's tw it's 50% off in the final price. Look, another double chainsaw. Hey, look. Oh, a triple. Here we go. This is this is where it's at. Oh, you know what? My inventory is full. Right here. Okay. Okay, here we go. And that was Starforge. I'm not really going to do anything with the multiplayer. Oh, wow. There's a little glitch here. My inventory slot's still up. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. Come back. I don't know. Do whatever the hell you want.